Well, hello again, human beings from the planet Earth. Uh, I was just on a Skype call with a contact in Canada. Big shout out to Canada and to you, Princess. Thank you very much for the relay of information. It's a little bit concerning to me. Um, NORAD and U.S. NORTHCOM uh, having a what is described as a major exercise. May 2nd through the 9th. Now, just the other day, you saw me put out the heads up for Seattle. Seattle expecting violence during the May Day Occupy protest events. New York today coming out with the same warning. Uh, there's been warnings in Chicago to the local residents near the uh, summit that's coming up, G8, whatever the hell it is. Uh, that they either have to leave their homes or stay inside basically for four days and now this uh, I'll send you the link so you can see what I'm about to read to you but this is dated April 24th 2012 from the uh, Northcom website and uh, Peterson Air Force Base Colorado the North American Aerospace Defense Command and US Northern Command will conduct a major exercise ardent century 2012 focused on defense support of civil authorities May 2nd through the 9th the exercise will be primarily a command post exercise but there will be fielding field training exercises within the exercise those events will take place in North Dakota Oregon Texas Alaska Connecticut and Nova Scotia and involve U.S., uh, the United States, and Canadian military units. North Dakota Air Force Global Strike Command will respond to a simulated nuclear weapons incident on mine at Air Force Base. The Oregon National Guard will work with state and local officials to respond to numerous weather-related and security events. Uh, Texas U.S. Army North will deploy a task force to work through the process of leading a military response to a major hurricane. Alaska Joint Task Force Alaska will conduct a coordinated response to a major aircraft cat crash in a remote area. Nova Scotia Canadian and U.S. Naval Forces will work together to handle security related event. Ardent Century 12 will, be, will validate existing plans, policies, and procedures, including the federal interagency response plan, as well as state and regional plans. Uh, there's a number to call for more information, so I may just do that tomorrow and see uh, if we can get any more information. Probably not. But anyway, I, I see bad things coming, people. Um, and I'm not going to define it. I'm not going to set a date to it. I think all hell is going to break loose. I think they know it. Um, whenever we have these exercises, there are major events that follow. Uh, the timing is not coincidental. I'm not going to insinuate that they are making these things happen, but they at least know they're going to happen, whether that's through research or planned activity. I can't confirm or deny. Uh, so, in that way, big heads up. Link will be below. All you occupiers, stay safe. Look out for one another again um, expect violence the, the, they've given warnings that there will be violence there will be violence the question is will it be the police or the protesters you decide